Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel, and uh, we'll have a series of videos for anyone that's getting a new Windows 10 PC at this uh, holiday season. And of course, this series is good at any time. If you get a new PC with Windows 10, we'll have that playlist called New Windows 10 PC, which gives you all sorts of tips and tricks on what to do to make sure that your PC runs smoothly from the start and uh, some you can apply, some if you don't want to apply, it's fine. But, you know, by restarting fresh, it's always great. A new PC often comes with crapware. We'll also have this series done for Windows 11 because Windows 11, the settings, the things that we will talk about are often in a different place. Or so you can actually, will, you know, you'll be able to follow whatever you have, a Windows 10 or Windows 11 new PC. This first video is going to show you how to simply remove everything and start fresh. Why? You might have a new PC. You might think, well, I'm going to start fresh. I've got a new PC. Unfortunately, manufacturers tend to install too much crap, and that is a problem. It can actually cause more problems than anything else. So that's the first thing that you want to do is simply start fresh. So to remove all the crapware and trialware of everything that they try to sell you or they just install because they think it's a good thing when it's really not, simply go to uh, right-click the Start button in Windows 10, go into your settings, and there you'll go into Update and Security. You'll go into Recovery. You'll go into Get Started here at the Reset This PC. And here, you will remove everything. Remove removes all of your personal files, apps, and settings. When you choose that option, you will then get a second option that will give you cloud download or local reinstall. Since Windows is already on the system, you can choose local reinstall. Cloud download will download Windows, the latest version of Windows from the cloud, and reinstall Windows from there. So whatever version, whatever you choose is going to work, but local reinstall should be okay and will be faster because it doesn't have to download the Windows version. So local reinstall. And here it's going to tell you, removes apps, files, do not clean the drive, reinstall Windows from this device, and click Next, and then it's going to start the process. It might sound scary. You might say, well, you know, I don't know how to do this, reinstall Windows. You have nothing to do, really. All that you're going to have to do is when you start and when the computer is um, ready to start again, it's simply going to ask you a few simple questions like connecting to your Wi-Fi or network and, of course, create a uh, user account for Windows and stuff like that. It's rather simple. And you'll be at a fresh start copy. You'll notice that a lot of the things the manufacturer had installed is gone. And that is actually going to be a real fresh start with a new PC that will probably be less buggy and less problematic over time because all of the crap that manufacturers install will be gone. So first step, that's what I recommend. Of course, some people use another um, route. They will, instead of doing that, go into the settings, for example, and in the settings, They'll go into the apps and reinst and just uninstall the apps that they don't want to use. It works to a certain point, but remember that in uninstalling apps uh, leaves traces behind that, um, you know, there's still some uh, things that are left behind. There's all sorts of, uh, of um, things that can happen also that sometimes you don't know what to uninstall and you install or uninstall the wrong thing. So by doing this, you have more of a control by doing a, a, a complete reset of the PC. So first thing to do is really to do that, and that will enable a very clean PC that you can use from the scratch rather than having all the crap that PC manufacturers put on your computer. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.